Hi everyone, you are watching Money Control's Ideas for Profit with me Krishna Karwa. In today's video, I will be talking about Shelly Engineering Plastics, a mid cap that seems attractive at current valuations. So before we get to that, let me give you some key highlights about what this business is. Uh, starting with the fact that uh, the company is a niche player in the high grade polymer processing space. Secondly, it derives 70 to 75 percent of its annual revenue from exports alone. And thirdly, it caters to original equipment manufacturers across the globe, especially the marquee names in domains such as home furnishing, electricals, electronics, medical packaging, medical devices, FMCG and automotive. So, Let's talk about the five key positives that merit an investor's attention in this talk. Firstly, a Swedish home furnishing major, which constitutes nearly 50 to 60 percent of Shelley's top line, is foraying rapidly into India for its operations. Secondly, Shelley also possesses the ability to manufacture multi-purpose medical devices for a wide range of clients. Thirdly, Shelly is also looking to increase utilization rates at its pharma packaging facilities, which would be in tandem with the increase in orders that it anticipates going forward. Fourthly, the labor and power issues, which took a toll on the company's financials in the first half of this fiscal year, would be resolved in the second half, which should bring back earnings visibility. And lastly, Plastic usage has been finding increasing applications in domains such as FMCG, automotive, electronics and electricals, which in turn gives Shelly a good opportunity to bolster its top line further through more orders. Well, no investment proposition is devoid of risks and Shelly is no exception. So two key risks that one must bear in mind include Number one, crude price volatility can impact margins in the short term, even though the company is able to pass on such price increases to the final consumer or importer. And number two, any delays in project implementation from the client's end could have a bearing on uh, margins because of low asset turns. So finally, why should you be investing in this stock? I'll give you three good reasons for that. Number one, the stock has corrected to the, to the tune of 40% from its 52-week high. Secondly, it trades at 18.5 times its FY20 projected earnings, which is pretty reasonable for a differentiated business like this that also enjoys good return ratios. And lastly, marquee investors such as Ashish Kacholia, Mukul Agrawal, DSP and HDFC Small Cap Fund have also bought stakes in this company. So, on that note, I would like to thank all of you for watching this episode of Ideas for Profit. Stay tuned to moneycontrol.com for all the news and updates. Cheers. <laughs>